Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. Me and my boyfriend Rul are traveling for two weeks around some Balkan countries. And in this video you'll get to join us to Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, a city where East meets West. It's currently like 6 a.m. in the morning and today we are taking the train from Mostar to Sarajevo. It's a few hour train ride and it is supposed to be one of the most beautiful train rides in all of Europe and the train ride only costed us 7 euros. I have heard as a little tip that if you're traveling from Mostar to Sarajevo you should sit on the right side. And then if you're traveling from Sarajevo to Mostar, you should sit on the left side. Apparently this way you'll get the best views. And so we are on the train. We managed to get a seat on the right side. some potato burek that I bought yesterday at a little local shop yeah. for breakfast. have arrived to Sarajevo. The train station is quite far away from like the city center and like the old town and that's where we have our apartment where we're gonna be staying so it's like a 35 minute walk it's doable but it's like it's not in the city center so keep that in mind if you're ever coming here with the train. We arrived quite early as we left quite early currently it is only quarter past nine in the morning and our check-in to our apartment isn't until 1 p.m. So as it's a bit of a walk to the apartment, our idea was that we'll stop on the way somewhere for like coffee and breakfast and that kind of stuff. We stopped at this place now called Hippie Klupa, um, but they don't seem to have any food, but my boyfriend gets some coffee here. I ordered like a hot chocolate and then we'll continue walking and find some other place where we could have something small to eat. We haven't been able to check in yet, but we were able to drop off our stuff. So that's what we did. We don't need to carry them around at the moment. And our, well, it's not an apartment, it's a room. It's located right by the old town. We saw a little peek of it. The room is not, <laughs> nothing fancy at all, but it was very cheap to be fair. But yeah, I'll show you guys later once we like officially check in. And yeah, we're now here by basically the starting point of the old town. So I think our plan right now is to just kind of walk around a bit and see what there is to see here. I have acquired myself some halva. Let me show you guys our home for the next three nights. It's nothing special, it's basically just a room. Here's our bed. And we have a little chair and a little table. And a mirror. Our amazing kitchen. There's a fridge and a water boiler. 
And then we have this bathroom is privately for us, so that's really nice. I'm sure we'll manage here for three nights. Our only little worry is that there doesn't seem to be any air conditioning in here. And I was remembering that everything we booked did have air conditioning, but maybe I was wrong. <laughs> You can see the famous Latin bridge and it's right by the bridge there on the other side where basically World War I started. In 1914 Franz Ferdinand, who was the heir for the Austro-Hungarian throne, was killed by a young man named Gavrilo Princip. And that happened here in Sarajevo, right next to this bridge, which then triggered the start of World War I. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> On our way to have some food. It's like next to a carpet shop and it's like this big inner yard. Then Grul's gonna have some coffee. I'm quite full from the dinner. Have a bit of tea. Turkish a bit of tea, tea, Turkish tea. Okay, maybe I'll have some Turkish tea. That's a good idea. I'll have that. Turkish delight. I'm honestly usually not the biggest fan because it's super super sweet, but let's try. I think it's a rose one again. Yeah, I don't think you would like it. I don't like it. It's a rose flavor and my boyfriend, he hates flower flavored things. We are now back at our room. I must say this has been not the greatest maybe it is very cheap and it is on great location like we're literally like that's where the old town starts the wi-fi doesn't really work the light in our bathroom doesn't work so we were planning on taking a shower but if we want to take a shower right now we have to take a shower in darkness basically i guess this is a part of the travel life it's not always glamorous especially if you're doing it on a little bit of a budget like we are sometimes you get what you get i guess um but yeah we gotta stay positive and remember it's a good price and good location at least we have that that's about it that we have <laughs> to be completely honest tomorrow morning at 10 30 a.m i have booked us a free walking tour so it'll be fun to learn a bit more about this city and the history and culture and everything so good night and see you tomorrow Good morning so i'm afraid today there's a bit of a change of plans my boyfriend is not feeling very great and he has barely slept we decided to cancel the free walking tour it's currently like 8 a.m in the morning so it's still very early my plan now is that i'm gonna head to the grocery store and buy some things that my boyfriend might need for the day and then i'm also gonna have some breakfast somewhere <music> I got myself some breakfast. This is a cheese sepurek. I decided to go for a chocolate muffin as well. And this is the little shop. I'm 
the accommodation we have. We're not very happy with it. Already the things I said yesterday, today when I now went to the grocery store, I realized that even the fridge that we have doesn't work. And I, I checked it was plugged in and everything. So yeah, basically the food I bought, unless he eats it immediately, it'll go bad. So we did now contact the owner saying that, yeah, we're not super happy and nothing works. And yeah, hoping that maybe something can be done. I do understand it's like a budget place and we didn't pay much for it, but still we did expect to get what we paid for. If we would have known that's the case, we would have maybe then rather chosen something that costs a little bit more. But as said, travel is not always perfect. I do want to keep things a bit transparent here on YouTube and show you guys what it's really like, tell the experiences as it is, because yeah, like I said, that is a normal part of traveling. But at the same time, I do feel bad if I complain too much, and I'm sorry if I have been complaining too much on this video, but I was just kind of trying to show the real side of traveling. Luckily, Rule started feeling a bit better, so we were able to go and check out some sites. Our first stop was this beautiful Orthodox Christian church. with the cable car now but there seems to be a bit of a line let's see how fast it goes okay if you come here i would recommend maybe coming early in the morning at least coming at 1 p.m during a saturday was not a good idea we've been waiting in the queue for a long time here on this mountain is actually giving me a bit of like Finland vibes. Some views of the nature and stuff reminds me a bit of Finland and it kind of smells similar as Finnish forests. Currently we are walking towards like an abandoned Olympic site. This is an old bob sledging, I don't know, arena? No? Mm. Like what is it yeah. called? Track. Track, yeah, a bobsledging track. Now, since the Olympics, it was abandoned and it's full of graffiti. It looks pretty cool. For dinner, we came to a well-known Burek restaurant and you could choose between meat, cheese or spinach. My boyfriend got meat and I got cheese. I ordered cheese but they didn't have that so they brought me spinach instead. But I guess it's like cheese, spinach, I don't know. Cheers. Very hot. Really good. The next day we were able to take part of the walking tour, which was one of those free walking tours, meaning you decide yourself in the end how much you want to pay for it. The tour was really good, we had a great guide and even though we visited some spots we'd already seen, it was nice to hear a more in-depth explanation about all those places. Coffee is extremely important to Bosnia and generally Balkan culture. Well, a Sarajevo rose, or I should say plural Sarajevo roses, as roughly 200 of them can still be found all over the streets of this city. We came to a very local style restaurant, it's a bit like canteen style. I just asked for like a plate of different vegetarian things that they have 
And this is what I got. Also got a cola and some bread. This seems to be a place where all the locals come to eat. That's usually a good sign. It tastes home cooked, like a home cooked meal. We have been chilling in the room for a while. I was feeling super unfresh. So I took a shower and changed my clothing and I feel so much better now. And yeah, I changed into this cute dress that I actually bought in Spain last year and I haven't used it much and I thought this is a perfect dress for an evening in Sarajevo. Now our plan is to probably first, if there's room, go to this cute little tea house that's right next to our room. It's uh, yeah supposed to be really nice and it looks really cozy. We've walked past it many times and then we're going to this very popular spot where people go to watch the sunset called the Yellow Fortress. And it's supposed to have like a beautiful view over the whole city and a beautiful place where to watch the sunset. And then after that, we'll probably go for some dinner. So that is our plan for now. This is every tea. Mm -hmm. This is every drink. Yeah. This is this salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Please. Thank you. So we came to this little tea house place and we got this local drink to try. And maybe we want to order more of it or something else. It's called a salad. It's pretty good. It's like milk and cinnamon. Can I try it? It reminds me a bit of chai tea. I think I'll go for that. I think I want to go for something a bit more refreshing. I ordered a local hibiscus soda or juice. It's elderberry, right? Oh, elderberry, not hibiscus. I don't know why I remembered wrong. It's nice and refreshing. And this tea house is really fun. The owner is definitely a fun character. He like shakes your hand and introduces himself. Definitely a spot that you shouldn't no, miss. Should we are now heading towards the famous sunset spot. And it's quite a steep walk to get up there. <laughs> Luckily it's not so hot anymore now in the evening time. So it seems like there's some kind of event going on here where we were supposed to go to. So I'm not sure if we can enter now or maybe find some alternative spot instead. Yeah, we went and asked and there's indeed a concert going on. So unfortunately they closed down the Yellow Fortress. So we're now trying to see if we could find some alternative spot instead. We have a beautiful view. We are sitting quite close to an edge though, keeping a safe distance from it. But it's absolutely beautiful and we have live music. And I think we're gonna sit for a while, enjoy the views. We now moved spot to a place where there's clearly much more people. But we're a bit more downwards now. You can also see the cemetery from here and someone's water bottle. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs>
a restaurant, they only had one vegetarian option and it just said vegetarian dish. And I was like, that, that could be anything, right? And I asked, what, what's, what's the vegetarian uh, meal or dish? And he just said, it's everything vegetarian. It's good, so uh, that's what I got. But I have honestly no clue what I ordered. But this restaurant has good reviews. It's calm, it's uh, outside of the old town. The old town's a bit hectic, maybe, to our taste. It's nice, but to eat dinner, it's not so peaceful. Like, there was a restaurant that we went to check, and we were looking at the menu. We were standing a bit in the way of the waiter, which, like, I get that was our fault. But the waiter literally, like, slapped, slash hit, slash, like, pushed my boyfriend and screamed at him for being in the way. Like, when I used to work in a restaurant many years ago, if I would have done that to a customer, I probably would have been fired. So that was, uh, yeah, quite shocking. So we decided that it may be better to move out from there. And we just kind of randomly found this uh, restaurant and it had good reviews. And yeah, not sure though what, what I'm getting. I am getting everything vegetarian. Let's hope it's good. Here is the everything vegetarian portion. Seems pretty good. I've got falafel. Whatever this is, some vegetables, potatoes in two different forms. I love potatoes, so I don't mind. Some rice, looks good. And my boyfriend ordered some liver. Veal liver, was it? Yeah, veal liver. Veal liver. And we got some bread too. Bon appetito! So this morning has been a bit rougher. I've not been feeling very well i've basically been in the bathroom all morning you guys maybe don't need the details but yeah clearly the hygiene with the food here in sarajevo is not the best first my boyfriend got sick now i got sick so today we are going to the next country which is serbia but i'm a bit worried because we have a six slash seven hour bus ride ahead of us and i honestly don't know how how i'm supposed to survive that but Wish me luck. Well, we are now on the bus on our way to Serbia, meaning that this vlog is coming to an end and I'll be starting the next one once we're in Serbia. I don't think I have energy to vlog this bus trip itself, but um, yeah. I'm not feeling the best, but I did get some medicine from a pharmacy, so hoping those would maybe help at some point. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. See you on my next adventure. Bye-bye!